Hi, welcome to another video on BandLab. Um, this one I'm focusing on the Graphic EQ. Um, this is great for fixing up any audio in your sounds. Um, and yeah, let's just get straight into this one. So, over here I've got the mixer. Um, I've got a vocal track prepared and I've got an instrument prepared track prepared. Um, you can apply this on the guitar, bass or even any other sound that you might um, bring into BandLab as well. So let's start off with the voice track. So under the voice track let's check I've got my source. Yes, yes and you can hear me which is good. Now let's go into the effects down here and there's a few ways you can tackle this. You've got preset um, settings. So here's some preset things that you can use on voice or you can customize it and add your own okay you can use combinations so if I just pick any random one there you can use the stock stuff there and change things up okay and there's a few equalizers in here so let's clear clear this one out and let's go back to just the graphics EQ so we come down to tone there's three different ones. The one I'm going to focus on is this one in the middle. And I find this one a great little visual one, um, but the other ones work in a similar way. So let's start off. So this is just flat, um, everything set to zero. Let's start off in the higher frequencies. When I start to change this, you can hear my voice change very, very quickly. Let's bring that down again. Okay, and it's gone very bassy just by taking at those high frequencies again. So I need a little bit of that, I think, in my voice. So let's bring that back up there. And I'll leave that nearly where it was. Let's go to the next one, bring that one up. And already, just by shifting that, there's a bit of presence that started happening in my voice. Let's bring that down, and it gets very boomy very quickly. So I need a little bit more of that one in there, I think. Okay, the next one, let's move that one up gets a little bit louder but then it gets I start hearing some other sounds in that one so it's bringing in some other frequencies I don't want I take that out and I just lose the middle of my voice so let's bring that maybe about there um, let's go to the next one let's bring that right up again it brings in it starts to distort my voice a little bit let's bring that down again and it disappears the middle of my voice has dropped out let's bring that or oh, maybe similar Let's go to the next one and bring that up. Now my voice is starting to get a bit bassy, but it's not very natural sounding. So I'll bring that out again and it starts to sound a little bit weak. So let's keep a little bit of that bass in there for my voice. Okay, the next one, let's bring that up and that changes my voice characteristics a lot. So let's bring that out again and it gets quite thin very quickly. So I might not have too much of that one in, but I need just a little bit, I think. Okay, the last one, let's bring that in and my voice gets quite deep there. All the bottom end gets to resonate quite a bit. Let's take that out. Okay, so I don't think I need as much maybe. Okay, so you can tweak this to suit the voice that you're using, um, whether it's a male voice or a female voice, um, everyone will be slightly different as to what sort of thing. So for me, I've got a little bit of a curve going on here. Um, let's move on to the next thing. So here I've got my piano connected up. Let's check that's working. Okay. So that's just the straight um, piano, grand piano sound. So let's see what we can do to change it with the EQ. So I'll use that same EQ. So just again. Okay. Let's turn this one right up on the piano. Okay, it's a little bit bright. Let's bring that down. Very heavy, warm sort of presence on that one. So let's bring that back up. I don't mind that already, that's nearly sounding nice. 
What happens if I move the next one? sort of radio sound there. Let's bring that down. So all the middle of my piano sounds dropped out. Don't mind that. Let's go to the next one. That's drastically changed it. Let's bring it out. Hopefully, you've learned a few things to do with the EQ and what it can do to the sound. Um, definitely have a play around with it. Check out the other EQs. They work in a very similar way. Um, once you've created a sound you like, don't forget to hit um, the save button and save it as your own personal preset um, that you can bring back in any other recordings you do. Um, don't forget to um, comment below. Give me any other ideas for any other videos you're interested in to do with BandLab. Um, and don't forget to subscribe so that you know about any other future videos and things like that. So yeah, thanks again and see ya.